I never understand these desires. I feel fear when Tom leaves. I don't know what to do and he always leaves. The door one is going to be your room bro, have fun there. Thanks, Bruce. You're a real dude. Every time I wonk myself, I remember him. I felt horny. It's been a while since I never saw Sandra and my other family, I miss them. Even though I had a lot of problems, I will always smile whether it is fake or true. I don't know about these feelings but, I am in love with Tom. I guess, and I miss him very very much. And I am willing to date him many times in my life just to make him comfortable. These feelings are wrong, I must choose my family first before Sandra. But I don't know what to do when I always see her. I feel like I am ejaculating. I am ready to lose my V-card over him. I will always love you. Tom. How is her feelings right now? Is she busy or she is into something? What do you want, Maria? It's about something I found earlier. What is it? Tell me already. It's about what you were looking for, your son. I think I faced him earlier. And he is an officer. I remain unconvinced that Maria is being truthful about my son's affiliation as an operative within the CPA. I will personally locate him, regardless of the effort required. Captain Tom Jasper reporting for duty. Is it good or bad? Well, well. I never thought I'd see the day when my own grandson would join the agent force. I'm proud of you, Tom. Thank you, sir. I wanted to make a difference in a different way, and serving as a police officer felt like the red path for me. I understand, Tom. The agency needs dedicated individuals like you. Just remember, the expectations will be high, and you'll have to earn the respect of your fellow officers. I'm ready for the challenge, sir. I've learned a lot from my time in the military, and I believe those skills will translate well in this new role. For Jerry. Yes, for. Tom, long time no see. I never knew you got recruited here. What's wrong, you didn't miss me? Michael. Davidson. Of course, do you remember me? You're the one who helped me in the case of Human Centipede, huh? You betrayed me you idiot. You talk too much brother. I will never be your brother. I guess you really remember me though. I won't forget the day you betrayed me you animal. Good morning, Sandra. I wanted to take a moment to personally wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you, General Gonzalo. I really appreciate it. Birthdays are always special, and it means a lot to me that you took the time to acknowledge mine. You're more than deserving of this recognition, Sandra. Your dedication and commitment to your duty as a police officer are truly commendable. You've shown exceptional bravery and professionalism in the face of challenging situations. Thank you, sir. I'm just doing my best to serve and protect our community. You are welcome as always, Sandra. Happy birthday, Sandra. 
Dad prepared your favorite meal. Macaroni and cheese? Real. Yes, and he even prepared spaghetti and fried chicken. Something's wrong. You shouldn't spoil me, right? <laughs> All I said was unconfirmed yet, remember we got in this place together, right? Ah, I hate your stupid lame-ass jokes. At least I am not crazy as hell. I can't believe that Tom is the captain in the military. I'm so proud with him, even though we aren't really that much related. What do we do? Let's greet him and welcome to the agency. Sure, why not? We need to find a better way to greet him. Simple way is the better one. Let's put in effort to it since he is a captain. I don't know what to do, you're in charge. What kind of birthday do you want? Casual birthday, of course. Casual. Again? I want the normal ones instead of the modern ones. But it's a special birthday for the woman of the day. Stop it. Have you seen Charles? He told me that Chief gave him a break. You must be a spy in the superhuman rebel, huh? Where do you work for? Yes, I am a spy. I work to the NLEA. Great, I can use you to penetrate Phil's area. All you have to do is spy on Phil. I can give you a million million of dollars. Alright, boss. Your wish will be granted. Honey, I am back. Hi, mom. Did you cook for food? Of course, honey. I apologize for canceling our plan to go to the mall, honey. No, it's fine as always, mom. You told me you canceled it because of the business problems, right? Thanks for understanding me, honey. No problem, mom. Come on, mom. I am hungry. <laughs> okay, honey. How was it? He fell into my trap. All we have to do is call General Lawrence. Make it quick. Shoot, someone hacked my phone. What should we do now? We need to escape here. So you worked from the agency, spying on both of us? Uh, I can explain. Aidens, give me my deagle. Sir, please, don't kill me. This is your wish, asshole. Welcome to Belle and Maria's cooking show. Today we are cooking white spaghetti and also some fried fries. These meals represents our business called Joe's. And this is the first time we trying to make the white spaghetti. I need to find a way to enter the fabric. I can't resist being a stupid cashier. I won't give up. I will find another way to convince uncle. I'll face the consequences. I got a Glock 19 gun and some flash and grenade. What do you have? Just some of the classics, M1911, and also I brought some extras, Barrett 92. And also some bomb grenades. Alright, we should prepare. An upcoming disaster is about to happen. I'll see you around. Okay, brother. Welcome back to the Plotagon City, Tom. We missed you. <laughs> Thank you guys, I appreciate this greetings. That's none of our problems dope. It's been a while, Tom. You've grown into a certain man. A captain of a military, that's fine. All these years, you guys fulfilled your most dreams. To be an agent.
Looks like this agency is about to blue out. Stick to the plan, I found Dwayne. I need to go. Be careful. Don't worry, this is just a scratch. Chase Phil before he destroyed this agency. Good morning, Isaac. Excuse me? I'm amazed in your power, Tom. Someday, you will be the most famous man in the plot of good city. You'll run in the jail someday. I am not done with you. Doctor, where is Jerry? He suddenly escaped and we didn't know. I need to find a way to discover the truth. Alone. 